How's it going guys, it's Kyler Alice, and today I'm going to teach you some things about axe that you can use with every legend. So we've all seen and played against people who pick up an axe and then for the next 6 minutes of the game they're jumping around looking for dare and you're sitting there trying to figure out if you're still having fun. I'm sure most of you watching this video have done that too. Well today I'm going to give you a couple new ideas which I've shared before but I still don't see anyone using. And I can confirm that these tips are very effective against the best players in the world so they'll work no matter who you are or what level you're at. There's going to be three main tips I'm going to give you with timestamps in the description below. Let's start with Sidelight. Everybody knows this move. It's got a lot of range, it combos into Nair, and it makes up about 30% of every Axe player's gameplay. Some of you might even know that it combos into Sare and Dare, like you're seeing in the video. But let's go one step further and add in a Gravity Cancel. Gravity Cancel Sidelight is an extremely underrated and overlooked tool in the Axe kit, but why? How many times have you seen a Sword or Blasters player do this? Axe can do the same thing for more damage and much earlier kills. Adding in the Gravity Cancel makes Sayer combo for much longer at a much greater distance, makes it harder to predict and punish, and also opens up a lot more options like you'll see in a second. So that brings me to tip 2, which is to make use of Grounded Dare. No, I don't mean the dare into downlight combo that you probably already know, I mean controlling which dare you use, especially when it comes to soft platforms. Grounded dare has different frame data to regular dare, including significantly reduced damage and slightly different end lag and hit stun. Actual seeker tech that I'm sure most of you don't know is that if you can do this, which makes you a lot harder to punish and opens up a bit more combo options. To do dare like this, you need to jump until you're just barely below ledge cancel height, Input Dare, let go of down so you get the grounded version, then hold down again. Spend some time practicing in training mode. Once you figure it out, you'll have it no problem. Going back to Gravity Cancel Sidelight, you can use Gravity Cancel Sidelight to combo into a grounded Dare on any platform map for big strings or kill setups. Get creative and see what you can come up with, and if you hit something awesome, tweet it at me or share it in my Discord server. Moving on to the final tip, you won't use this one as often, but it's still handy to know. When you're on the wall and coming back to the stage, instead of going full force with a recovery straight into their face, you can use recovery to glide up the wall, leaving the final frames to protect your hurtbox and allow you to combo into neutral light or string into just about anything else, like you can see in the video. You won't want to do this every time as it's not super safe, but it is a very useful mix-up to have in your arsenal. That brings us to the end of the video. To summarize, make use of Gravity Cancel Sidelight, practice better control of how you use Dare, and use Recovery to combo at low damages. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please leave a like, drop a comment with your thoughts, and hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you never miss a video. I'm Kyler Alice, and I'll see you later.